Okay, so here we have the LY NX3 by Mad Cats, or most commonly known as the Lynx 3. Now, this is a very special controller. Um, it works on Android devices as well as Windows. And as you can see from the picture, it looks like something from some space age movie, but in truth and fact, it is simply a gamepad that when uh, not in use can be stored away into something that looks like some type of fancy remote control unit there. Um, and apparently this device can work with uh, the, the smartphones, so the little cradle there you can connect your smartphone into. And obviously it can connect to tablets as well as you know PCs and you know stuff like that. So let me just take this out of the box and let's look at this in a bit more detail. So here's my trusty knife. Let's get my trusty cutting knife here. Let's see, am I doing it right? Yeah, let's take that out. So, here we have um, I guess some paperware, instruction manuals, and it looks like some type of uh, little pouch, carrying pouch that's in here with the warranty information. So I'll just put that here for a second. And this pouch, nice little accessory. It has the Mad Cats logo on it. If you look there, Mad Cats. So let's just put those aside for a second. We get these cool Mad Cat stickers as well. And just open the top here. And um, you have the unit. Feels nice and some good weight to it, feels pretty nice. Oops, let's see here, what else do we have in here? Looks like another USB cable to add to my billions of other USB cables. And then some type of ugly box in inside there, nothing else. Alright, so let me throw that aside. So, here is the Lynx 3 controller. Take out the bag. Now it does look like an impressive piece of technology. So I guess it's in the closed position. So this is the, the configuration that you would keep it in when you are going to carry it around, right? And um, it is kind of portable. I mean, you could technically put this in your pocket, assuming you have big enough pockets. Um, but it is, you know, I guess portable. So I mean, like, here's a typical PS3 controller, and uh, you know, it is smaller than the PS3 controller when it comes to portability. So I guess you could argue that, you know, yeah, I can take it around when it's small like this. So to use it, you just open these handles here. And this is actually a detachable cradle for a smartphone. And uh, as you can see here, we have our analog knobs. Feels pretty nice and springy. Um, the top does have a, a little dip. There's a little concave dip, which is good for you to rest your thumbs on. So you do have pretty decent grip when using it. And here we have our D-pad nice and springy feels just like a professional like keypad um sorry professional d-pad on you know like a playstation or xbox one controller um and then you have your action buttons here x y and b um and then we have some function buttons here at the top 
the so we have you know we have two bu shoulder buttons on either side here and they do feel pretty good and the bottoms do have that trigger light feel so if you look at the side you do kind of get that trigger feel for that you know that bottom shoulder button which is customary now on many modern game pads and uh, there's the Lynx 3 logo there etched in now it is a plastic um, it's all made of plastic so it's not like it's big brother the Lynx 9 now the Lynx 9 that retails for about $2.99 uh, but that's like a metallic feel. It feels really expensive, and um, it feels like it's made of space-age space age materials. But what happens is that you know the average person isn't going to shell out three hundred dollars for a controller, right? Trust me on this one. So what they've done is develop this smaller one, the Lynx Three. This retails for around seventy-nine dollars. Uh, so this is way cheaper. Uh, the only dis but but what this does not have when you compare it to the Lynx Nine. On the Lynx 9, you can actually adjust it to, to hold, I think it's up to a 7-inch um, tablet. Um, and then there's also a, 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 an area where you can put a mini keyboard and all that. So it, it is multifunctional, but again, that's for like uh, a very small niche market, I personally think. Because the average person, if they just want a good controller that they can carry around, um, they will happen to shell out $300. So anyway, so the answer to that problem is... You know, if you want that really cool ultra design and that portability and have a very good gamepad, the Link 3 would be for you. Again, though, $79. It's much cheaper than $299. But again, even $79 may still be a bit pricey for a gamepad. Um, but if you're into Mad Cats, like I, I am, I love Mad Cats technology, um, you know, maybe you wouldn't mind shouting out the extra 20 or so dollars. So, the back here, so as I said, this actually. Can, you can actually adjust this um, angle so this is fully open so it's literally kind of flat I guess and um, you can adjust the angle as much as you want right so for gameplay now let's see it does open up quite a bit let me see if, what large cell phone I have that can test on this thing so just to see you know what size phones this can hold I have here a gigantic 6.3 inch Samsung Mega and I have an ultra small and more conventional iPhone 5s now I just want to stress that this particular gamepad only works with Android devices and Windows and doesn't work with um, iOS um, but I this particular model anyway um, but if you check it below in the description I will actually confirm if there is a model so first off let me try the iPhone 5s size and as you can see, it fits you know ultra phone small phones like this very well. So any like all modern smartphones are pretty much larger than the iPhone 5s. So, um, but for those of you who do have an iPhone 5s sized phone, um, it will fit. Now again, I'm going to stress this particular model works with Windows 10, well Windows 8 as well, but, but generally Windows, Windows devices, and Android. And I also will double check whether there is an iOS version. Um, and if there is, check below in the descriptor, and I will have links to each version um, of this. So if there's a Windows version, I'll have a link to that. An Android version, which is the same thing. And then if there's an iOS version, I will also have that button as well. So just check below. So it fits the iPhone 5S pretty well. And I'm shaking it around. It doesn't come out. It has a very good spring mechanism. Now another great feature about this um, controller is that the cradle that holds your phone, it actually has rubber strips on either side and along the back as well. So rest assured, you won't scratch your expensive smartphone. And you know, Mad Cats, they are known for making very high quality um, stuff. So, you know, you rest assured, you have a very good product here. Um, and it's space age, it looks really nice. I like this green and black. It's a really nice, uh, nice design. Now, the acid test. Will it fit my huge, gigantic 6.3 inch Samsung Mega Fablet? Let's see. Alright, put in the bottom. And let me try from this way and I get a better angle. It barely holds it, but it does. It holds it. Look at the back. 
it's a tight fit, but it, it holds it. So you can hold a 6.3 inch phone in here. Now this well, this is an older design, but um, I know a lot of the modern phablets are around 6 inches. Um, but this was 6.3 and it could barely hold it, but it holds it. So FYI, if you have a Samsung Mega um, and you wanted to know if it can fit, it looks really nice like that though. Like that's an ultra. That's what you call an ultra gaming device right there. You got the huge screen, and you got the Mad Cats controllers, all right. And you can adjust the angle, of course. Um, right, your playing angle. You can adjust it anywhere you want. Have it so when it's fully um, retract, like fully open, that's the angle right there. So as a frame of reference, there you go. You know to pull it out. I just usually just do it like that, and you're done. Now, this here can be removed. There's a little screw here. You just unscrew it, and you can take this off. It comes right off. Now the screw, of course, doesn't come out, so you don't have to worry about losing this or, you know, your kids, you know, ch a choking. There's no choking hazard because this doesn't come out. It sticks. It stays together in there. Um, so you then have just a pure controller, right? So you have that same kind of form factor looking feel when you compare it to like a regular controller. This is my PS3 controller, right? And just comparing these two, um, just to give you an idea. So they're roughly, roughly, you know, end to end, roughly the same length, which is good, right? Because they're calibrated for the size of a typical adult hand. Um, but the uh, Lynx 3 is a little bit shorter when it comes to height. Um, and if you look closely, the analog nubs are a bit closer together on this than on this S, the PS3 controller. Now, for some people, that might be a bit of an issue. If you're, you know, it may be a bit more awkward playing with the analog nubs closer together. Um, but for me, it, didn't, it doesn't really make a difference uh, while I play my games. It's pretty, pretty comfortable. Um, so that's the comparison there. So, again, now let's just uh, have a quick look at the buttons. So obviously below here at the bottom, there's a built-in battery in this, of course, because it connects via Bluetooth, right? Um, here's your mini USB connector right there. Now let's look at the buttons. As I said, we have our D-pad, our action keys, and our analog nubs. Now, if you look closely here, inside here, there's some additional functions. So the X and the B keys, um, I think they serve like, like fast forward and rewind keys. Um, and then this Y key here it serves as a play and pause key. So if you're not using it as a gamepad, um, if you have like Android Box or you know any of those um, other applications, um, when you close it up, you can just use it like a remote control, right? Um, so these keys can be used for other things as well. Now, when you're pairing this up to a Bluetooth device, and this is just part one where I just did the unboxing and I'm just giving you the initial look and feel. But in the next part of this video, I'm actually going to show you how to pair this to your Android device as well as uh, do another video showing you how you pair this to your Windows device. Um, but just a quick overview from what I understand, um, to, to you know, charge this up first, so plug, the, plug that mini USB cable into here, plug the other end into uh, any 5 volt um, USB source, so any USB 2.0 port like on a PC or even the back of your television wherever you have a you know a live USB port charge it up um, something like this shouldn't take that long to charge right I'm guessing like half an hour or something uh, again I'll confirm that by the next video um, anyway so once it's charged you actually press this button right here to initiate the pairing so you press and hold this down for about three seconds and then there should be some LEDs uh, flashing on this that will indicate that it's in pair mode um, oh yeah right here there's some LEDs along the top here so they will actually start flashing to say that it's looking to pair with any device. Then what you do, you go on your other device, like your smartphone, for example. You go into you know your settings and activate the Bluetooth, and they start searching, and then they should find each other, just like any you know Bluetooth, Bluetooth pairing um, exercise. Once they find each other, the LEDs will start flashing, and then you're good to go, right? Now, um, that's with any Bluetooth controller, there's a lot of games today. Uh, do auto automatically detect uh, if there's a gamepad attached and lots of times you don't have to do any key mapping but if in the case that you do you know make sure you pair this up with your device and then go into your game 
and then you know look for your options look for your controller and if there's a key mapping option great if there isn't okay well you know find another solution but this this will do just like any other normal gamepad that has Bluetooth so uh, this is a really nice looking device again $79 um, this is the little brother to the Lynx 9 um, I will also have a link to the Lynx 9 as well so if you have $300 that's burning a hole in your pocket and you don't want to have that $300 anymore you can click the link below and get the Lynx 9 there's also a link for, uh, to this little brother the Lynx 3 uh, this retails for $79 as I said um, and you know it looks really nice in space age it has the detachable arm for your for your smartphone which I can easily screw off or I can screw it back on here just put this uh, it's very easy actually just put that line it up like that and what I like about it there's only one way it can go on because it has these little three grooves here you just uh, line that up and just screw this on like that There you go. You can adjust the arm, add your smartphone. You know you can pair it and start playing. Open it up, All right? And it does feel. And as you can see, um, these don't adjust. It just opens to this and lock into these positions. Um, but these keys feel very nice. Um, the analog knobs, they're okay. Some people may prefer the. Um, uh, the Xbox uh, configuration of, of analogs where one is here and one is up here but you know I'm a PlayStation guy myself I like my analogs here um, just like on the PS3 and on the PS4 controllers same look and feel but here they are side by side okay so this is my initial review um, again if you you know are into Mad Cat's technology and um, you like this kind of stuff where you know you can have the nice, you know, retractable features where you can, you know, it's kind of portable. You know, it's, this is more portable than this, I guess. Um, where you can have it doubling as a, you know, a, a, a controller. It can be a portable gaming system because you have the cradle for the smartphone. Um, you can take the cradle off and actually you can pair this to tablets as well. Uh, hook, it, hook up your phone to your TV and have this as a controller for a TV. Um, again, you can close it off and then you can use it as a remote control for your Android um, uh, set top box and you know tons of other features built in battery charges through this mini USB port here um, and it looks really cool just looks space age and then stuff I have uh, I have other stuff from Mad Cats and I just a lot of times I just get the stuff because they look really cool alright this looks cool on my desk like this green and black thing here the Mad Cats logo it's really cool but if you are just looking you know if it you know $79 if you, you do you know it's it's still kind of expensive for a gamepad. You can get decent gamepads for well under fifty bucks nowadays. Bluetooth, wireless, right? So, but if you want the Mad Cats brand and you want that, well, you know, one of the things I must stress when you deal with Mad Cats, you're dealing with high quality stuff, right? Um, this won't break. These buttons will work well. It's it's gonna feel. It doesn't look comfortable, but it does feel comfortable in your hand. So as you can see, it feels very comfortable in my hand here. The nubs, action keys, D-pad, right? That's all in one D-pad, as you can see. And I have average size man hands, and it holds pretty well. And I can access the controls at the back as well, shoulder buttons, and it does feel rugged. Um, feels pretty sturdy, right? Now they have some. There are some function buttons across the top as well. So these could be volume keys, for example. That's our Bluetooth pairing key, um, and. Um, and here's another uh, function key as well. So in whatever application you're using, you can map these keys to do whatever you want, right? Start, select, volume, whatnot. Um, now it does, as I said, double as it can be a standard remote controller as well. Um, and if you see here, there's a little volume down and volume up key. So these shoulder buttons can actually um, be volume keys. And if you have like a multimedia um, setup where you're using this as a remote controller, as I said, for an Android box or for um, uh, uh, an mp3 player or whatever uh, this can, these can be your volume keys right so um, there are links below as I said all flavors of this controller should be below there and I also have links to the Lynx 9 I will be doing a review on the Lynx 9 the $300 one as well um, and that so stay tuned for that 
Okay, so next part of this video, just showing you how to set it up uh, with a phone, uh, with a tablet, uh, on Windows, and on Android. Okay, and if I do find a link for the iOS version to this, it will be below this video as well. Okay, that's it for now. You guys take it easy. Bye-bye. Hey, everybody. So I hope you enjoyed that video. Now I'm going to ask you to do two things before you leave. One, there's a button right up here on the screen to my right here. Click on that. And that will take you to our website, www.redtechbot.com. When you get on that site, there will be a button there where you can actually sign up for our newsletter. And when you do sign up for our newsletter by entering in your email address, you will automatically be entered into all of our tech giveaways. And by tech giveaways, these are some typical examples of what we will be giving away. Uh, and these are some examples. There's other stuff as well. Um, and the good news is, you're, you know, you just have to enter your email address once and, you know, it will automatically be entered into the pool every time we do a draw. Um, and we will use that email address, of course, to, to contact the winner, to tell them, hey, you've won something. Um, and, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's really cool. And, of course, the newsletter will have, you know, you know updates on tech reviews, what's coming up new, uh, you know, what's coming up next, um, you know, new stuff uh, in the industry and even information on, on future giveaways, right? So it's really, 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 really nice newsletter that we're going to be uh, uh, sending out. And one other thing is on this side on the screen here, up here, on my left, uh, you click on that and you will subscribe to the channel. Now by subscribing, of course, you will be, you know, at the forefront of any new things that are happening, any new videos that are coming out. Um, and what I will also be doing is I'll be doing videos where I'll be talking about what we're going to be doing as a next giveaway, right? So you want to be, you know, subscribed, tuned in to that as well. So it's going to be a fun year and fun years to come as well. So, yeah, that being said, you guys have a great day. Bye.